Hi, this is Deborah. This video is about what to expect and what to avoid dating when you're over 60. I've been dating for the last nine years and it has been comical. It's been a nightmare, but boy, have I learned a lot of things. One thing is don't give out your email. And you, every time I seem to give a guy my phone number, they will call before nine or after 9.30 at night. And it is a big disruption in my life. And 99.9% .9 of the time, they don't ask you for a date. They just want to text, they just want to call, they want to hem and haul. I don't know what the reasoning is behind all that. It seems like if you want to get to know a woman, you will ask her on a date. It's like, I have to suggest that. Not once, but over and over again. And then when I do go on the date, either they don't have the money to buy, you know, even a cup of coffee, or they sit there mute. I find this hilarious. Oh my God. It is, I, I don't know what has happened. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or uh, if I'm just bad at choosing guys. I don't know. But I've probably been on about 55 dates in 9 or 10 years and um, only two out of that figure have I developed a relationship with. And um, let me tell you what, there's a reason why guys in their 50s and 60s are not attached and why they don't have a significant other. They could be lacking in certain areas. Uh, and they also could have, uh, I know I just got out of a relationship with one guy. I, I did not know that he was a chronic drug user and he had just filed bankruptcy and he had a record. I mean, and I even, uh, you know, went and tried to do some, pull some background on him. But it is extremely dangerous for us. And never, ever get in a car with a guy. Uh, not even, in, I don't even think even after the third, the third date is very, very dangerous. Don't let them know if you can help it, see what you're driving. Park around the block or wait till you know they've left and then you leave because as you see from my odds, they're not good odds. They're not good odds. And don't let, you know, going, uh, you know, they say that you can't find a decent guy in the bars. Well, so far I found that true. And then again, you know, my last boyfriend was going to church every Sunday and he was probably the worst of the worst. So don't let that influence you. So I'm just going to put it all in God's hands. And right now I'm kind of happy just doing my own thing. But yeah, it, it's not good out there dating, especially online. Uh, you know, you put on there your profile. I even put a secret word in my profile so that if they did contact me, if they didn't use that secret word, then I knew they didn't read my my profile. And that, again, one out of a hundred may read your profile. I guess that's just a man thing. I don't know. All they want to do is look at the pictures. So I hope this helps you guys. Good luck.